the pilot-operated pressure relief valve comprises a valve body, a main spool cartridge, and a pilot valve with a pressure setting adjustment. The pressure present in the primary port acts on the bottom of the main spool, and at the same time the pressure is fed to the spring-loaded side of the main spool via the control lines and containing orifices. The pressure is also present at the ball of the pilot valve. If the pressure increases to a level above the spring setting of the pilot valve, the ball opens against the spring. The pilot oil on the spring side of the main spool cartridge now flows into the spring chamber of the pilot valve and is directed internally to the secondary port and back to the tank. Due to the orifices in the control line between the primary port and the pilot valve, a pressure drop or pressure differential exists between the bottom of the main spool and the spring side of the main spool. This pressure differential lifts the main spool off its seat and connects the primary pressure port of the valve to the secondary or tank port. Fluid now flows to the tank, maintaining the set operating pressure of the valve. Now that you have seen the valve's operation in segments, click on Full Sequence to watch the whole animation uninterrupted and see the flow of fluid in and out of the valve.